Alrighty, okay. Let us get into it. We are going to run the next build. This is going to be the Stamina Sorcerer PvP build. It is going to be a brawler. It is going to be nasty, disgusting, super tanky, and the burst is there. Let's get into the buff sheets first. A little buff sheet, a little action right there, attributes, that type of thing. Let me go ahead and buff up for you. Show you all the goods real quick. Hit a little of this, hit a little of that. So, this is what it's looking like on the stats. You can pause if you want. That's without a potion. That's going to go way up, don't you worry. Especially when we go a little something like this. Boom. Like that. Get a little bit more recovery. But that's plenty fine because we're going to be using Dark Deal. Okay. But let's go ahead and get into that buff sheet real quick. Okay. Boom. Looking good. And let's go down. I don't know why it's doing that. We got the Thief Mundus. Come down here. We are stage 3 vampire. I just made a mistake there, but that's okay. And we have the Orzorga's Triple Trifle Pocket. Really good stuff. You can see it on the bottom. Uh, thank you, Mr. UI. Thank you for that information. So, really good stuff. We are moving on. Uh, this will go up as well when we hit... Um, when we hit Vigor, hit this, and I also use... Uh, I usually use armor pots, but it looks like I do not have those on me right now. So, yeah, so the physical resistance will go up as well. So, especially when you use your vigor right here. So, like that. Bow. Whoops. Let me buff down. One more try. Like that. Bow. But 28. But that shall go up with the armor pots. Real nice on the physical. Okay? So, and then let's do the race and the Mundus next. We'll do the race, the Mundus, and the attributes. We got 64 points into stamp. Okay. Real good stuff. One high, high stamp pool, if we can. Alright. We are a high elf. I actually don't recommend high elf. This is just what I have. So, you don't want that. 100% you don't want that. You want orc. You can do other things if you want, but 100% do Orc, because it gives you healing when you do melee every 4 seconds, and it gives you a lot of weapon damage, uh, as well as speed, so really good stuff. Definitely go with Orc, not this. This is what I had and didn't want to change it. So, next we'll go to the Consumables. Oh, wait, almost forgot the Mundus. The Mundus is the Thief. I think we covered that. Alright, let's go to the Consumables covered a little bit of it. I, for some reason, do not have my armor pots on me, but I do use these a lot. I just use the tri-stat a lot. If I have a gank blade on me or something like that, eh, I'll definitely use a armor pot, something like that. But these right here are what I usually go through. I burn through these right here because I, uh, I don't use camouflage hunter on the front bar, if you notice. So I want my crit rating through those poisons. So make sure you use these right here. Okay. And then triple trifle pocket is the food. Poison is the escapist poison. Okay, really good shit. This right here is going to keep you from getting stunned and immobilized while immobilizing them. Gives you 10% crit mitigation. Really good stuff. And increases my critical rating. So, really, really hot. Good stuff. Okay. Now, let us get into the sets. These magical sets. Here we go. Let's do the monster set first. We're running a two-piece Baylorg. We don't need magma because we get the minor resolve from Vigor, and the healing is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with the with like the not the healing, but the uh, the recovery. So we don't need magma for any reason. Let's go for that penetration and the weapon damage. Really good stuff. Okay, one-piece trainee. I should repair that. And we have the Mark and Ring. You can go with the Sea Serpent Coil. It's really nice. I just don't like the... Um, I don't really like the Snare. I don't really want to mess with it too much. But it's it's a great set. If you want to just use it anyway and maybe run a little bit of Swift on there, that's, uh, that's cool. I just like this because it gives me some armor. gives me some spell damage. I know what I'm getting. There's no dicking around. But you can go with the Sea Serpent Coil if you want. You can even go with Malakath if you want. But this is what I choose and this is what I recommend. Okay? Now... Let's go into that first set, baby. Rally and cry. So there's so much burst. So much ridiculous burst. And just the class is overtuned. You don't need any type of set that's really giving you like 
just raw damage because it's not lacking. I was literally on the console earlier and I had no gear on just to get my tier my tears and everything. I had no gear on. I was laughing. I was still hitting people with like I had someone with an 18k exe and I wasn't wearing armor. So yeah, it's a very overtuned class for absolutely no reason. So rally and cry. Here we go. That's gonna give us some super tankiness so we can really brawl with a little bit of weapon damage as well. Basically gives you a lot of crit resist. You should know what that is by now. So and the next set is Daedric Trickery. I love this because it gives me so many buffs. If you don't like Daedric Trickery, you don't you do not know how to use it. That's pretty much what it is. Because if you use this right and you're constantly light attacking with that back bar, you will have three of these stacks. You'll keep those three stacks buffed and you just you're so nasty. 16% more healing and then 16% more healing. That's 32% healing if you stack those two. You get heroism, so you're constantly getting your ult back. I swear by this set. It is nasty. It is an amazing set, and I'm going to definitely run it on this build. Okay. Let's go through the other pieces. Daedric Arm, Impen. I try to go usually all Impen. This, you can do some well-fitted. You can do, like, reinforced on the chest, reinforced on the legs, right? That's what I want here. And the rest, I would probably go, like, honestly... Probably like all well fitted, maybe like one divines because you do have the rallying cry. But me personally, I'm too obsessed with my M pen. I like my M pen. Okay. So that's all the pieces. Let you look at them really, really quick. So we got uh, one, two, three heavy, one, two, three medium, one light. Okay. We want the undaunted passive. Easy, easy stuff. Okay. And then the mall. We have a sharpened maul. We want to have really good penetration. Okay. Uh, the healing is fine. We got plenty of healing, so we don't need like a crate sword or anything like that. We don't need Nurn Hone. We're perfectly fine. Okay. And then the back bar for the Daedric tri Trickery. I'm going with an Ice Staff. I used to go with a Bow and Arrow, but this is a Ice Staff. And what it does is it gives me minor uh, mangle to my target, increasing my critical damage by 10%. It also lets me block with my mag. I don't need that. I don't really care for that. I'm not really doing that. Um, but it kind of gives you a couple pretty sweet passes. But that 10% damage is is insane. So definitely go with the Ice Staff 100%. Okay. So I believe that is all of the beautiful sets. Oh, let's go to the jewelry. We got Rally and Cry, Rally and Cry, and Markin. I go with Too Swift. This is another reason I don't want to run the Sea Serpent Coil is because I really like being fast on this tune. So I got two Swift. You want to be an Orc. You don't want to be the High Elf, right? You want to be an Orc, two Swift, and then a little bit more speed later on that I'll mention. Okay? So all weapon damage. One infused, two Swift. Okay? Let's move on. Next will be the skills. Let's go to the skills next. For the front bar, we have Bound Ornaments, or Armaments, pardon me. Uh, what this does is it increases my max stam by 8%, but whenever I use it, through the like through my passives, whenever I use this, it'll increase your health. You don't have to go to the passive, I'll just show you. Okay, watch my health. Well, that's just because I'm on the front bar. Can we get some healing? Thank you. Boom. Like that. For being on my bar. Boom. 29.k. I, I did something. Let me just read it for you. So we go right over to here, and Bound Ornaments, I believe it's right, um, right here. Increase your max health by 8% while you have a Daedric Summoning ability active on yourself. That increases my health by 8%. That's a lot. That's a lot of health. A lot of Stam. Really lets us uh, play around a little bit here, okay? So, continuing with the skills we got bound ornaments you can also recast this after you've done a lot of light attacks if there's someone who's like super tanky you can also fit like finish with this you can hit that do some extra damage as well okay now we got the crystal weapon okay really really good proc damage looks like you get a little bit of a little bit of penetration from it right don't you yeah by 1000 but this is just really really good proc damage okay you want curse this is the bread and butter as soon as I run up on somebody, the first thing I do is I put a curse on them. I put the curse on them, boom, I'll arm that crystal weapon, and I'll just light attack right into that dizzy uh, medium to knock them down into the Dawnbreaker, and then uh, light attack, exit, bar swap, cancel, all that, you know, so 
really nice combo. It's almost impossible for people to live through this. It's just so much damage. Okay. Then we got D Swing. I use this. Uh, this is the only class where I'll kind of spam this. I usually don't spam it on any class, but I'll spam it definitely because you got so many different things procking. So it's just a lot of uh, a lot of burst, a lot of pressure. Okay. Then we got Reverse Slice. Reverse Slice is a really good, powerful executioner that's AOE, um, but we don't have to have dual wield to get the AOE exe. Because I do like how when you do a heavy attack, it increases your next direct damage when you're using a 2H. That's the reason I went with 2H, by the way. Right here. Where's that follow-up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whenever I do a fully charged heavy attack, my next direct damage attack does 10% more damage. So especially if it's like a Dawnbreaker or something like that. Whew, really good stuff. Okay. And uh, let's see what we got. And we got Dawnbreaker Smiting. That's going to increase our weapon damage passively, as well as doing some pretty insane AoE damage. It's also going to be a stun. Highly recommend it. Don't recommend anything else over it. Okay. Let us go to the back bar. We have Dark Deal. That's going to be our Burst Heal. It's a nice little Burst Heal. That's also going to give a stand back. Make sure you use this. Even if you don't need to use it, use it because you need to have that passive stand recovery. That's You notice my stand's a little bit lower. It's because we have this. Okay. We don't need to stack all that stuff in there. We can get just more damage. Okay. Then we got Vigor. It's our main heal. Most of the time I like to put that on the front bar, but we're fine. We don't need it. We'll just put it right there. Okay. Uh, it also gives us a uh, minor resolve. All right. Got Hurricane. Nice AoE damage, but mainly it's just a little speed buff, and it's your uh, major resolve. But uh, it's a really nice little AoE, uh, AoE build. Uh, good Guild Trader. My friend's talking to me right now. <laughs> My friend. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, and then we got Crit Surge. Crit Surge is going to be your main weapon damage bonus for your Major Brutality. But this heals you. Every time you do critical damage uh, with any of your abilities, and this is up and active, you will heal yourself for an insane amount. It's so important to just do damage. Okay? Then we have Channeled. This is going to blow your mind. I use Channeled Acceleration because I can use it less. And so it's better on my mag sustain. I can use this less. 10% increased crit damage. And I get a uh, major expedition for 12 seconds. So I can keep my major expedition up. I'm not using a bow and arrow. So I don't have uh, like just free uptime on my major expedition. Okay. Uh, this right here. I do have temporal guard here for the 5% mitigation. But I do. I'm a little bit more crafty. So I like to do this. I like to put the storm atro. If you get a bunch of people on you, you can drop that right on top of them. You can use this to line the sight around. It does a lot of good damage too. But the undo is really good too for the 5% mitigation. Okay. So that is the skills. Let's move on to the champion points. Okay. Bow. For the champion points, this is how I love it. It is absolutely cracked. Focused Mending, 10% increased healing. Fight Finesse, 8 more percent healing, as well as 8% more damage for crits. Okay? So that's almost 20... These two right here is almost 20% more critical healing. Okay? Really, really, really good stuff. Alright? Then I go over here, and I got Mastered Arms. Increase my direct damage by 6%. There's other really good passives in here, like exploiter really really good i don't use it occult overload i don't use it there's a, uh, another one in here too focused nature a uh, force of nature increasing your penetration by 660 for every status effect your target has also really good here's the reason i don't use this one and here's the reason i don't use this one because the damage is so absolutely disgusting that you put a curse on them you arm your uh, crystallized weapon, and you can go right into a heavy attack into a Dawnbreaker first. And all that burst will hit them, and then you can start to de-swing them and, and exit. But that initial burst is before you're off balance. You can sit there and do it first, but I like to just smash people right as they run up on me. I like to smash them first because it's so much damage. So for that reason, Exploiter's out the window. Also for this reason, we're running, we're running Baylorg. We're uh, reducing their armor. 
We got the Maul. We have Sharpened. I don't want that. I just want my damage at all times, all of it, to all crit. I mean, to all do higher damage. That's why I went with this. People will look and be like, 6%, that's the lower one, you know, compared to other things. It doesn't matter because it's up at all times. That's why I chose it. Okay. And here we go. Reduce damage taken by direct damage tax by 6%. I stand by it. Really good. Okay. Really good stuff. All right. Let's move on to the red section. Make sure you fill out all this good stuff in here. Put all that good stuff. Next, we have fortified 1731 armor. So we stack that armor real nice and fat. Okay. We're going on the slippery. Slippery is 370 stam recovery worth of break free cost, right? Automatically breaks you free instantly. And it costs you zero uh, stam. If you run, if you had to roll out of a clinch, and you got no stam left, and you finally break free. I mean, uh, and you finally run out of stam for some crazy reason. You just roll dodge too much. You're being reckless, and then they stun you. You still automatically break free. So <laughs> it's really forgiving. All right, next we go to Pain's Refuge. Pain's Refuge, 20% mitigation, depending on like how much stuff is stacked on you. So really, really good stuff. We're not running a purge, okay? Then we go over here to Celerity. That's the other 10% speed I was talking about. So we got two Swift. We got Celerity. You're going to be an Orc, not like me. I made mistakes. You want to be an Orc. That's a lot of speed. And we're going to be using Channeled Acceleration. Okay? Insane speed. No need for Streak. We don't need that. We want more damage. Okay? So that's it. That's the Bubbles. Pain's Refuge. Slippery, Fortified, Celerity, Ironclad, Focus Mending, Master at Arms, mm, Vite Finesse. Alright, good. So, next, we got the Champion Points. Don't worry about the Green Tree. Do that however you want. I do like to put this uh, speed, passive speed, right here. When you're not in combat. Okay. Um. Next would be, I guess, the tips. Tips, maybe the rotation, something like that. Uh, let me see if I got something. Okay, make sure, if you're not just being passive, and you're not just building old, or just moving around, you definitely want to run these crit pots. These crit pots are what is giving you your major savagery. You know what I mean? So if I hit this right now, like, let's see. Like this, a little bit of that. Uh, boom, pop that bad boy here, and this. Look at the crit rating. Our crit rating goes up to 35%. 5k weapon damage, right? That's going to go up with the Belorg. We don't need insane amounts of weapon damage. We don't need 7 or 8k weapon damage on this build, okay? I had a 10,000 weapon damage build on console like, a, like, like two weeks ago, and then I had one with 5,000 damage, and the 5,000 weapon damage one hits harder than the one with double the penetration and double the weapon damage so it's not all about weapon damage okay so don't worry about that ak pen really good stuff so let's see if i can find uh i'm in my friend's house right here let me see if i can find something i can attack here uh forget about it don't worry about it all right so this is what i'm doing i hit my race against time get my vigor rolling i light attack them make sure you're constantly light attacking boom do your thing get a curse on them go right back and light attack again I cannot stress enough, please, light attack with your back bar. I see so many people, they say like, oh, Daedric Trickery's ass, it's not a good set, I, why would I want a random buff? I mean, come on, dude, the, every one of those buffs is disgusting by itself. It would be a good set with those individual buffs alone. You, get, you have five to choose from, and you can stack three at a time. Major Mending is 16% healing. Major Vitality, 16% healing. If you just get those two and the Major Protection, that's 10% protection, and that's 32% increased healing. While we already have like 20% from the CP, the healing is disgusting. Please, light attack on your back bar. I see so many people, they never light weave. Light attack, non-stop. It is so important, okay? So next, after you do that, Make sure you got your bound ornaments up. Make sure you got everything. Boom. You hit your crystallized weapon, right? Well, we walk up, and we're going to put a curse on them. Crystallized weapon. Run up. Boom. Medium into like a dizzy. Knock them down. 
the a constant explosion is gonna is gonna put so much pressure on them. It's really, 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 really good damage. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, fashion. Let's go to the fashion next, kid. Let's look at this fashion, kid. Oh, let's see collections. Appearance. I think right now, I think I'm wearing the Emperor's Regalia with the the Bella's doll mask, Kaji. Um, and the costume is the Emperor's Regalia. If you don't have the Emperor's Regalia, you could try to do like maybe active swimwear. Um, got a few few of them that are pretty easy to get. Get the Mage's Guild robe. That's pretty cute. Tavern maid. Oh, that's definitely cute. Look at that. Let's change the hat a little bit. Look at this right here. And boom. Maybe like a little skull cap. Ooh, we better put that mask back on. <laughs> okay, let's keep the mask on. Alright, well, that's the fashion. Okay. And I think the weapon, I'm doing a Daggerfall Covenant mace on my red character. If that makes sense. And my Yakudin frost staff so the frost staff is yokudan so that's the trades that's the fashion okay so that's about it i'm not going to put a gameplay clip at the end of this because the gameplay clip is already out there it's called the ba big bang and brawl sort something like that it's like a few videos back that i posted it is a bow and arrow but it's the exact same build it's just, the only thing i changed was i put the ice staff on here but a little bit long of a build video. Really appreciate you guys sticking around for this. I really, really like this build. I'm very attached to this build because it is absolutely breathtakingly powerful and just ungodly fucking tanky, dude. It is just nuts. It is absolutely tanky because you're getting the Daedric and you're getting Rallying Cry. Um, it is just so fucking strong. And it just, like I said, the class, you can wear no armor and nuke people. It's, there's something wrong with the class. It is so overtuned. But um, that's it for now. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Um, you hitting the like button. You hitting the subscribe button. That helps me help other people who may be struggling. And we all know how that feels. So uh, I really appreciate the support, guys. Much love. This is to Sanity. Goodbye. Get out of here.